This week, I'm going to show you some of the best things you've ever seen in your life, including a man who rips his own stomach out and strangles someone with his intestines. I'll be looking at some mutilated cows. And some sort of Mad Max ripoff that involves a rubber monster on a rock. And I'll also be looking at a film featuring Tarman. Yes, it's Shonk video. It's gonna make you puke. Shut up! Mm. Wicked. Imagine if you could burst a man's stomach with one punch. Imagine if you could cause a man's eyes to come out of his head by smashing him in the face with your own bare fists. Imagine if your name was Ricky. Well, you're too late because it's already been done. Yes, it's the story of Ricky. Mm. Look, shut up! Mm. This film is absolutely amazing. Made in 1991, made in, no, one. shut up, <laughs> made in 1991 by a guy called Ngai Kai Lam, right, this film is absolutely brilliant, my lesbian boss lent it to me at work, I took it home and I've never wanted to punch a fat bloke so much in my life, in fact I got so excited by this film I bought myself a pumpkin and punched its tits in shortly after watching it, absolutely amazing. Mm. Shut up! So this is the story. Ricky hangs out with his girlfriend and they have a good time. They enjoy flying planes together and running through the woods as you do. Until one day, a nasty gang of rapists turn up and of course, they try and rape Ricky's missus. She's not very happy about it. She runs away from them and she jumps off a roof to her own death. This upsets Ricky, so he sets about kicking in all the rapists and he beats them all up and of course ends up in prison for the justice that he dished out. This isn't very good for him, but he wants to spend his time as quietly as possible in prison, trying to keep away from any trouble. But of course, prison's full of dickheads and Ricky doesn't like dickheads. Check this out. Shut up! Please don't Shut kill up! Please don't kill For fuck's sake, you can't get the fucking stuff! Okay, so this is the drill. They're going to tell you the boring part of the film. Bit of talking. 2001 AD. Capitalist countries have privatized all government organization. What a bunch of bastards. Like parking lots have become franchised businesses. Okay, that's the that's as much as you need to know about the storyline. Let's cut to the action. Here we go. Samuel, you bastard! Great use of the term you bastard in a martial arts film there. Watch this now. Go on, go on. Yes! His face has been ripped off. What more could you expect? A nail in a man's eye. Then a fat bloke getting his guts burst apart by a smaller bloke in a shower. Slightly homoerotic, but still really, really amazing. Then what could be even better? Yes, a hook hand. Then a giant kind of meat cleaver going to the side of some bloke's face who doesn't look that upset about it. What else could get any better than this film? Yes, it's a man cutting his tendons out of his arm, smashing an eye out of a man's head, then some birds eating the eye, then a man cutting his guts open, and then what's gonna happen? It can't get much worse. It surely can't get much worse. Oh, no, but what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Yes, he's whipping his own guts out, and he's gonna strangle his mate. Yes! Punch his face in! Kick him in! Nice hair. Blood coming out of a man's stomach, ripping the bottom of a man's face off, smashing a man's jaw apart, then punching his arm till it explodes and his fingers go all over the bloody floor. This film is amazing. I've just seen half a dog. Oh my God, he's just kicked someone's leg in. Now he's punched someone so hard there's a dent in the side of his head like a fruit bowl. Then he's just punched the top of someone's head off. I love this bloody film. Yes, he's just cut a fat bloke's arm off. Then he's just punched through a bloody riot officer. Quiet moment now, bit of cleaning. Even your dog gets a big Oh, it's better relax. Not enough to eat? No. Right, I'll give you some more then. Yes, more violence! He's gone into a meat grinding machine and had his arm ripped off. And what's he got? A tray of human flesh, you bugger. Yes! Shoot him, shoot him. Fat bloke with one arm. Fat bloke with one arm and a metal arm is about to expand and explode. Oh my god, this film makes me want to rub my dick against my own face. Yes! Wow, this really is the best day of my life. Twat him. 
now this bit's great. Once against the meat grinder. And the block's gone inside and he's getting ground up and he's grabbed the other block by the throat and his blood and guts going all over the place. Is he going to strangle him? Is he going to die? I don't care. I just want to see someone die. Mince him up. Mince him up. Squash him all up into bits. Sell that meat in the spa. This is what it's all about. Whew. And he's dead. So what's he going to do with the seven head of his enemy? He's going to throw it against the wall. Yes, throwing someone's head against the wall. This really is f***ing amazing. And to round it all off, he's going to punch a big hole in a wall. Wonderful. It's a little bit what I imagine it's like to be in Cardiff Prison on a Friday when everyone's a little bit excited. A fantastic film that everybody should see at least once in their lives. If you don't watch it, you'll probably end up like him, dead in half an hour. <laughs> Shut up, bugger! First up, I'm looking at a film called Mutations. I think it was out in 1974. In fact, I've not seen this film. I'm not sure if anyone has ever seen this film. I found evidence of it on the internet, but I've never actually seen a copy of it or seen any evidence that it actually exists. There's no write-up of it anywhere. There's no, was it I Internet Movie Database? Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's it, Internet Movie Database. Right, yeah. There's no Internet Movie Database information about it. There's no Wikipedia entry. There's nothing. I can't even find one of those illegal torrent download things of it, so it might not exist. It's amazing, it features some of the best animatronic type things, claymation models of bovine type creatures, aka cows. And the only reason you know it's a cow is because they say, it's a cow. It was once a cow. Otherwise, it just looks like a lot of plasticine, really badly done by a four year old. But it's an amazing film, it looks amazing, because obviously, I've never seen it, I don't know if it exists. Shut up! Someone might have just made Right, an advert for a film in the 80s on one of them old film cameras, put it on the internet. It might not exist, but if it does exist, and if anyone does have a copy of it, get in touch. I need to see this film. Mutations. Mm. Shut up. Facts. Milky Way Galaxy. A cluster of more than 100 billion stars over 100,000 light years across. Our sun is a somewhat average star located far out from the center of this system. Real facts. On a night like this, you can see several thousand stars, or so some astronomers say. Sexy. Well, how about this astronomer? Stories go back to ancient biblical times, indicating that perhaps life forms from other worlds had visited, even walked the Earth. Something bothers me, Professor. What would these life forms be like? Could they be not human? What is that? It was once a cow. No, it's plasticine. Spaceships from another world. And the creatures that piled them, they look like demons out of hell. I know. I seen them. I seen them too. And they look like a dick with a mouth. Yes! I don't even know what this film is called, but it's amazing. It's Mutilations. <laughs> I told you to fucking shut up! Right, next up is a film that I've heard of once when I was 11 after seeing a shit VHS trailer. I've never actually seen this film, I don't know where to get this film from, and I have no idea if anyone else apart from me has ever seen this film, but it's amazing. Yes, of course, it can be the one, the only, Rage War, aka SHUT UP, aka Dungeon Master. Yes, it's a film so good, it's got two names, that's a good start. Besides having two names, it's got... Seven directors. That's the amount of times they're gonna stab you unless you shut up. And it's a fucking amazing film. Basically, there's this bloke who uses a computer, he's really good on computers, does all that downloading or whatever it's called. And some dude from another dimension realizes that this bloke's so good on computers that he wants to steal his girlfriend and have some sort of otherworldly battle with him. Yeah, that doesn't really happen to me when I use computers either. But either way, he gets sucked off into this other dimension and has to take on seven different challenges. Um, they include a rubber monster, some sort of ice world, um, lasers, and a shit car that looks like something out of Mad Max, but probably is even shitter than that. Yes, it's shit. It's Rage War. Check it out. I'll give you money. Shut up! I'm gonna fucking kill him in a minute. Okay, it's on. This is it. 
Um, it's, okay, it looks a bit like Mad Max, uh, slightly gay clothes, um, a bird, a weird looking truck. I think it's a, is it a high ace. I'm not sure what he's driving, but uh, it looks crap. Anyway, he's hanging around in the desert. Um, not much chance of having an accident in a big wide expanse like that. He's got a powerful gun to blow anyone out of the way. Oh, a bit of weeds there. Could could have an accident by hitting a bit of a. Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa. Bloody hell. He's just managed to crash in the only other car in the whole bloody desert. What a dick. You are a worthy opponent. But apparently he's a worthy opponent, so um, this is where the film really heats up, and this is why I like this film so much. We've seen the Mad Max bit, that was good. Now look at this. Discover the secret of the Statue of Stone. Yes, it's the Statue of Stone. I know what the secret of the Statue of Stone is. It's just a big rubber model. It's a piece of plasticine. He hasn't figured that out. You know, he's, he's running away like a dick. The Look at his tongue. Do you see that? Of the dead. You know why his tongue did that? Because if he catches you, he'll lick you out and kill you by licking the you out. That's true. Rat spit the slime ball. I knew a kid who looked like that, but he was special needs, so I won't mention that now. The ordeal of the ice monsters of doom. My legs are frozen! I can't move my feet! Oh, you ought to go see a doctor then. Probably arthritis. Then. This bit's good, some sort of samurai. Loads of electricity building up in there. It's sort of like varicose veins all over a samurai's face. Lovely, lovely image. Good and evil. Hey, the good one's alright. Look at the tits on there. A warrior trapped in a timeless void. Locked in mortal combat against the overlord to the agonies of strange beasts and lost souls. It's like trying to get a taxi on when you're pissed. The, the dungeon master. Yes, the dungeon master. I'm going to take off all my clothes and punch myself in the nuts. Look, no, shut up. That was Rage War. The year was 1984. Please, if you've got a copy of that tape, send it to me or I'll kill him. Next up, it's Return of the Living Dead. Great film, fantastic soundtrack, bit of mild nudity, and it also spawned a band called Send More Paramedics. This is possibly one of my all- Shut up! Fuck sake, where's the cosh? So the premise of this film is there's these two guys and they work in a medical supply centre. In the basement, there are these drums containing zombies that are in cryogenic submersion. Suspension? Suspension, cryogenic suspension. And they say that it's, these, these drums are perfectly safe, can't be harmed. They bang him on the side, a load of powder and gas comes out. Basically, the dead rise from the grave. So here it is, possibly the best film I've ever seen when I was about 11. Here's the spiel. In the dark of the night, something strange is going on. What's going on in the dark of the night? It's a skeleton coming out of the ground with eyes. That's right, it's a weird teen film with teens in it, who clearly aren't teens. This movie, Night of the Living Dead. Sure. They ship those bodies. Looks like my gran at the end. The dead have risen from the grave. How many did you say? 100? Well, 50. Oh, the question is, how do we get them back into the ground? Rain and zombies. Nightmare. Frank, we have a little problem. Oh. Four left. Ten right. Oh. Ah. 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 Matt Lucas on drugs. Well, Matt Lucas. This dude, right, Tarman, made me love horror films. <laughs> Bound to happen, fall down the stairs. Medical science is back. And it's a puzzle. Because technically, you're not alive. Why do you eat people? Not people. Brains. Ah! How do you kill something that's already dead? Well, how do I know, Fred? I don't know. Let me think. It's not a bad question, Bert. To be fair, it is a good question. The brains, right? The brains. 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 Smash his head off. Brains. Brains. Arms. 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 Ooh. is nervous. The police are confused. Men in yellow suits, guns, zombies, rubber monsters, people having their heads ripped off, people being eaten. 
It's fantastic. Watch it. Send more cops. Now. Echo, 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 echo. The return of the living dead. It's shit hot. Return of the living dead. Watch it again and again and again. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Shut up! You've been watching Shock Video. I've been Eggsy. And I'm Reese. I've just been committing a terrible crime in someone else's house. Find out next week what I do with the body. This is the second best day of my life. Come back here, you mother! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Ah! Yeah.